Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, or anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Veterans, all my veterans all over the world, stop playing. You know what time it is. Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing going to be all right. Cause this is my message to you <laughs> Veterans I'm calling out my veterans All over the world Stop playing You know what time it is Oh my god Man that's Bob Marley baby Bob Marley in the house He always saying don't worry about a team Cause everything gonna be alright Before we get started guys I just wanna give out my uh, Condolences to the uh, three soldiers That uh, we lost uh, when a drone struck the uh, military base, everybody was sleeping, and they had a drone drop on the base, and they killed three, injured 30. And they just what I always say every single day, soldiers, man, be safe over there. I know you was already thinking you were safe, you were sleeping, getting ready for the next day. And a drone, just like I said, man, a bomb just come out of nowhere, man. Killed three and injured 30. You just never know where it's gonna come from, man. That's why I say you always have to be vigilant and always have to be very, 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 very careful. And, uh, man, how careful can you be when you sleep at night, man, thinking you're safe and a bomb drop on your base? But uh, you can best believe, man, that uh, somebody gonna be held accountable for that veterans. You already know how it go. You can be believe that. And then, uh, again, as I said earlier, man, I wanna um, give my condolences out to the families for the two Navy SEALs that were. Uh, went missing out in sea and uh man we had a bad week for our veterans man that's why i always come out here every single day man i'm gonna uplift my veterans every single day guys i'm gonna do it because all i have to do is just sit here every day and think about my veterans man i'd be worried about you guys over there every single day man because somebody got to sacrifice somebody have to sacrifice to keep us safe over here in this country and again a lot of people just not paying that no attention but there's a lot of wars going on and man, you know, a lot of sacrifices have to be made. And thank you veterans, thank you ladies, thank you veterans, thank you men veterans, thank you women veterans. Cause I get chewed out all the time and they say I don't mention these ladies enough, but I love my lady veterans. And if I don't mention you, it's not because I'm doing it intentionally, it's just that I'm just rambling and forgetting to mention you. But you always in my heart too, ladies, always in my heart. So guys, listen, man, those guys over there in those foxholes right now, repelling out of helicopters and parachuting out of airplanes, man, boy, please be careful. Please be careful. It's really rough right now, man. War is bearing up everywhere. I mean, they just coming all over the place, coming out of the woodworks. But be safe, man. And I know I got all my soldiers, man, those dodging those bullets and running for your life, man, dodging grenades, dodging IEDs. Man, be safe. That's all I can say, man. I just hope the angels sitting there with you. Because we had a bad week this week. We done lost five, and we done injured 30. Man, somebody going to have to be held accountable for that. You can believe that. Jordan, be on the wear. Somebody going to pay for that. You know, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to get away with that. Whoever did it, you can believe you're not getting away with that. But yeah, man, I, I just want to say real quick, real fast, guys. I uh, know the end of the season, they said we now only got the Super Bowl left, but I still got the holler for my veterans, man, try to get them out to a football game. And if anybody out there hear me, man, all those deep pocket veterans that done been in these wars with these guys, you know, I'm dealing with my Vietnam veterans and my Korean veterans, and all I want to do is get them out to a football game, had that one YouTube experience where these guys sit with us, man, and we spend the whole day with them. We take them dining three times a day, you know, a meal. We give them in the finest hotel. We put them in the finest airplanes. We put them in the finest boats or yachts and get them to a football game. Let them spend that one day experience with my deep pocket veterans who always was a veteran with these guys. You know, they could be Korean veterans or Vietnam veterans, these deep pocket veterans. And we got a lot of them out there, man. They just don't know I'm sitting out here shouting. But one day, somebody gonna be sitting at a picnic, one of them rich guys, and they gonna hear Jerry Costello, me, begging and hollering, screaming for my veterans, man, trying to get them out to a football game before they pass away. These are guys with limited limitations, guys. They can't get away from wheelchair. They've been in a wheelchair for four, five, six years, 10 years, 15 years. Long time. Can't go nowhere. 
And they sit there, man, emaciated, just thinking nobody care about them. They just sit in this room, guys, and they run from the bedroom to the bathroom to the kitchen. Bedroom, bathroom to the kitchen in a wheelchair. And that's no way to live. And I just want to be able to do something on my part. I love sports. And I just want to get these guys out to a football game. That's all I want to do. And we talk war stories, family matters, and whatever's on his mind or whatever on her chest. Get it off your chest. Let me hear it. I want to hear those stories. I really do, guys. So if you guys can sit out there and hear me, man, please, man, you know, look at my little GoFundMe up there, man. Click on the doggone thing, send two, three dollars, anything you can, man, to help my veteran. Uh, like I said, we only got the Super Bowl left now, but we still got next year, man, so we can get all this money running up in the, to the coffers, ready for next year, man, to get some of these doggone veterans out to a football game. Some recipient going to be very, very happy, man. We're going to bless a lot of recipients next year. And I'm going to need your guys' help, man. I'm going to need your help. I'm really going to need your help. So that's me rambling on for the night. Guys, you know, I just want to get out there and uh, give my condolences again for the three soldiers that lost their dog on life. And, uh, you know, you'll never intend to lose your life, man. You, you know, you want to live a peaceful life. Maybe you want to die in your sleep or something like that. You really don't want to be in your sleep and somebody drop a bomb on you, man. I just hope there was no pain. But anyway, guys, I digress. So to the world, you might be one person, but to that one person, you just might be their world. And people don't care how much you know until first they know how much you care. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you over the top. All my veterans over in these war zones, man. I got your back and I'm going to continue to pray for you. Until then.